Ah, there we go. That's better. Moving on. Sorry, we were having technical difficulties. Hello? So we... One's on. Come here. Let's I'm just gonna... wait to see oh, about... It's fuzzy again. It's not... I'm going to put this down here. The lighting? Oh, thank you for lighting. Internet? Hmm. Not on YouTube. Oh, we have hello. One person. Welcome. Okay. We are having some te technical difficulties. We are trying to figure them out for whatever reason. Okay. I think that one's going now. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. To our refuel worship night. Anybody I, out there? I hope it's working on YouTube and Facebook. Please let us know if it's working. Yes. I think YouTube is... Seems like we're having some technical this, issues. This way so we can see if it goes funky again. But please... Oh, oh. Oh, oh, there we go back. Please let us know if it is not working. YouTube seems to be giving us some problems. Oh, thumbs up. Thumbs up on Facebook. Okay. But YouTube, not so much. YouTube is being funky. If it is do doesn't work on YouTube, what we will do is we will upload it later. And then the YouTube people can catch it... At a later date. Later. Oh, at least there's five on Facebook. That's good. Six. Six! Woohoo! Please let us know. Hello! Yay! Okay, good. You hear us. Okay, maybe she hears us about the technical difficulties too. Oh, this is being all weird. Uh, yeah, let's just, we're just going to not it's do like YouTube flashing. tonight. And is that what you want to do? We're going to upload it this? later. Sorry, YouTube people. I'm sorry, it's not working. I know. I don't know how to Whatever. get it off, though. Let's wait. Hang on. We um, will, so YouTube and YouTube land, you will get it later. Land? Facebook will get it first. It'll be like two services. Hello, hello. Hello, LaVon. Hello, Pastor Sarah Jane Coombs. Okay, want me to end this Hello, for Hello, Don. Yes. Okay. Ending. Sorry, bye. Uh, Welcome. Done. Welcome to our Refuel Worship Night. We're excited that you are with us. Hello, Carol. Avon. Hello. Welcome. Good to see everybody. Close this, it's not a distraction. And um, it's been really exciting um, this month. If you haven't watched any of the messages... Um, you should do that. You should. That, not now, after. Don't watch them all in one sitting. You might well, overload. maybe. You'll no, be like... brain overload. <laughs> brain explosion. But... Um, <sighs> They are, they are great. I really enjoy doing it. We will probably do something like that again. Um, I also do like speaking, so I, I will, I'll be speaking from time to time as well. Um, that's just part of the awesome privilege I have of, yes, you're, of being you're good. in the church. You could speak, honey. And, um, but uh, just to kind of give a little recap, um, the first week, I know, it's like, whoa, that was like so long ago. Uh, we looked at knowing our enemy. And just the idea that we, we need to know that our enemy exists, but we don't want to be so consumed with it. Mm -hmm. And I, I love the tidbit that, you know, my friend Joel came up with, that we would put him more on the level of the Archangel Michael. So that means that Jesus is way beyond him. Mm -hmm. But we need to know that we have an enemy. And then with Laura strategizing a plan and, and, and having our plan kind of align with who God is, where God is taking us, what direction God has for you. And then last week with, with Nick um, talking about wearing all of the armor, that each, each piece is important, but you have to wear it all. You have to put it on every day, suiting up, wearing the armor, being protected everywhere you go, all the time. And then this morning, um, with, with Angela, just about 
prayer and how, you know, I like some of the things where she said to change your atmosphere, to, to use prayer and praise as a weapon. And just that, you know, just to share your emotion, share your heart in prayer, conversation um, with God. So they were great. I, I really am thankful for each one of those people that came on to speak, Joel, Laura, Nick, and, and Angela. They, they're they all great people. I have known some of them for a long time, and some of them I've just gotten to know um, a little bit better. But tonight, we just want to, to worship, to sing some of these songs. They're kind of going to be battle-themed a little bit, but it's just to get our our hearts in this position you know this equipped for the battle i love these message series but you know i hope that their their thoughts and ideas that get into your hearts and into your minds that you take with you that it's not like okay march was equipped for the battle so that's i'm only going to equip for the battle in march no i want this to be something you do all the time i want these these ideas that you've heard and learned to keep going over them to to make them a part of your life. So we're just going to sing some songs, worship together. I would encourage you at, at home, even if everybody in your house is staring at you like you look crazy, why are you jumping up and down? Why are you, why are your hands lifted so high? Who cares? It's about God and God looks yes. at you and he's like, man, you worship how you like this is your chance. Some of these songs, you might want to get up and yell and scream and dance. Some of these songs, you just might want to just sit and just lift your hands. Some of them, you might want to shout them out. But worship along with us tonight as we sing a few songs. And, and if you're just joining us and if you know somebody that's usually watching us on YouTube, we're going to be uploading it later. But let's just for a few moments, let's just forget about maybe some of the things that you're going through. And let's just kind of align ourselves with God. Because the great thing about battles, about struggles, is that God comes right into the battle with us. We do not have to do this alone. The Bible teaches that. These songs that we're going to sing is going to teach us that. And I just want to encourage you, if, you're, if you feel like you're in the middle of a battle and God is with you and and he is going to bring you through it and maybe he's going to bring it you through it tonight or maybe it's going to be a little while and and I, I like the idea to reach out to other people community church that's what church is supposed to be about we're supposed to be about a group of people that come together. We cry with one another. We laugh with one another. Yeah, YouTube is not fun tonight. But we do this together. So let's just worship now with us as Amy leads us. Let's worship together with us tonight. I raise a
amazing plans for you.
don't focus on what we want the outcome to be, what we think the outcome should be, what we want the outcome to be, God, but we trust that you know what the outcome will be. And you will bring it. You will be victorious, God. So we surrender. We sing this song of surrender to you, Jesus. Taking our hands off of it. Trying to stop trying to control it, God. But releasing it completely to you. Because this is your battle, Jesus. And we invite you into our circumstance. We invite you into our discouragement. We invite you into our problems. We invite you into our battle, God. We say that it is yours. We look to you, Jesus. I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory for the Write that in the comments. Say, I'm going to see I'm a victory. Gonna see a victory. I'm going to see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. And I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory.
years, we are reopening the building. Woohoo! Exciting. But we also will still remain online. You'll be able to still see our, our Sunday messages, our experiences online and in person. But I was thinking about Easter, you know. You know, Jesus came to this earth, came as a little baby, and he grew up, and, and then he, he went to the cross, and he performed the biggest battle ever, and, and allowed us forgiveness of our sins, the things that keep us separated from God. But then, then... What we can't even describe. It's amazing. But he rose from the dead. You see, every everybody in that first Easter, when they when they saw Jesus die, they thought it was over. And a lot of us, I think, we live that way. And it's over. But but friends, we serve a Hello. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, right in the. Uh, but he rose from the dead, and we need to live that way because he is in the battle with us. He is alive. He is our conquering king. He is the head of this. When we think about equipped for the battle, he is the head of our army. He is right there with us. He is leading us. He is with you. Whatever it is that you are going through, it is not too much for Him. It's way too much for us. A lot of the things that we're going through, we can't handle that. But God can. And we need to give Him those things. We need to say, God, I come in to surrender to you. I give you those things. Come and be with me. And then we need to allow people to come around us in community. But the battle is God's. He will help us. He will sustain us. He will give us strength. So we're just going to, we're going to sing one more, one more song. And, and I want you to just worship with everything that you have because God is awesome. God loves us. God loves you. And He is going to give us victory. Declare it. I, I loved seeing you guys write that in the comments. But declare that again over your life, over your family, over your health, over everything. Victory. So let's just worship together one one more song. I know you have it in you. Let's do it.
reminded maybe that God is with you in the battle. He loves you a lot. I can't wait to be back together. Good Friday, 10 a.m. in person or online. And it's going to be a great family service. Bring the kids, bring the grandparents, bring the dogs, bring your neighbors. No, maybe leave the dogs up. And then Easter Sunday, oh boy, celebration service, 10 a.m. And we're going to just, we're going to celebrate who God is, who Jesus, what happened with Jesus. And that will be at 10 a.m. online and as well in person. So think about who you would like to bring out, invite somebody with you. And if you know of somebody that maybe is like not sure if our church is open yet, next weekend we are. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to still do some online stuff as well on top of our Sundays, but thanks for joining us and uh, we love you guys. We think you're amazing and just have a fantastic week. Bye for now.